Okay, we are going to figure out the whiteboard app that's a Microsoft whiteboard app. I didn't have any of that before, and so what I had to do is go down here to your little search bar and type in whiteboard. You have to spell it correctly. And press enter. Now, this is going to give us um, to give you a search board, search from Bing, but I am not a Bing believer. What I do know is I want this, this Microsoft whiteboard.com. We already have a Microsoft all the things. And what it's going to ask you, if it's your first time doing this, it's going to ask you to log in to your parish account. It's going to ask you for the two-factor authentication. And then once you're logged in, just like you would for your you know, parish email or whatever, you're going to have access to this whiteboard. Okay, so I can create my little whiteboard. It says, you're about to join the whiteboard. Okay. I'm going to take a minute. It's pretty straightforward once you get here. You have some pencils, some pens. You can erase stuff. Um, this is probably best used in conjunction with Screencast-O-Matic. Or if you're like in a Hangup, Hangout, you could combine this with your Hangout where you're casting your screen, you're sharing your screen with people. Or if you want to just create a video in advance of you using this whiteboard and send it out, um, I, I see that as the most useful thing. I can also do this and share. I can create a sharing link and I could send this out to people. Okay? So if I wanted to send this out to people, I could say, hey, look, come to my whiteboard that I made using this link. Or I could make a video in advance with Screencast-O-Matic and then send the video out. Or I could go to a Google Hangout and then use the whiteboard through Google Hangout. Those seem to be the most useful applications of this particular tool.